If you're finding that your engine temperatures are too high, or that the engine cooling fan is not kicking in when it's supposed to, today we have the solution for you. Today we shall be installing an override switch so that we can have manual control of the high speed engine cooling fan. Before we modify the wiring, it is important to check that it is not just a faulty relay, so locate and replace the fan control relay with another identical relay from the relay box for testing. Firstly, open the bonnet and disconnect the battery. Then remove the plastic radiator cover in order to expose the wiring harness for the two cooling fans. You can then remove the connector going to the high speed fan. Here we will be inserting a double pole double throw relay. Cut the wires leading to this connector and then extend all four wires with extra wire of suitable conductor size, about 2mm square. We located our relay near the battery, so we only needed around 30 centimeters of wire. Now make two wires to connect to the battery terminals. Since this is a direct connection to the battery, we will also need an inline fuse. We found a 20 amp fuse sufficient to prevent the fuse blowing due to inrush currents. After this is done, we need to route a cable from the location of our relay to the centre console in order to control the fan. We chose to route this cable through the firewall behind the glove box. It can be quite tricky to find a place to pass this cable through. In our case, we cut an additional hole in this rubber grommet to thread our cable through. It may take some time to achieve this. You can then route the cable to the centre console and also to the location of the relay, ensuring that you use some form of plastic wrap to protect the cable in the engine bay. Now we can wire up the control switches. We bought switches with inbuilt LEDs to show when they are on, so your wiring may differ here. We located our switches in the rubber tray in the centre console. You will need to drill some holes here to mount these switches. Here is a circuit diagram of how we wired up our switches. Once the control cable has been mounted and the control switch is wired, we can wire up the relay. Here we use a double pole double throw relay so that the fan is isolated when operating from either source. The relay needs to be rated to at least 10 amps in order to be able to pass the current drawn by the fan. Here is a circuit diagram of what we are doing. Make sure the input from the original fan power lines is connected to the normally closed terminals on the relay. This way if the relay fails, the fan will remain connected to the car's control system. Once the wiring is complete, we can tidy it up with a bit of cable wrap and proceed to put the centre console and the rest of the car back together. After double checking your wiring, you can start the car and see if the switch works. You now have manual control over the high speed engine cooling fan, so when your engine gets too hot, you can easily engage it. Job done.